my Ninja Go Getters. If you are a Star Wars fan and you can't afford a lightsaber stick, but you can uh, afford a computer to do DaVinci Resolves and there's something wrong with you. If you want to make your own lightsaber, we can do this with DaVinci Resolve. So, are you up for it? Let us begin. Welcome to DaVinci Resolve. Once you have your video ready and set into the timeline, just don't forget to cut it to the correct length of which part do you want to put on the lightsaber onto your video. So we're going to do an easy part first and then we'll get to the most difficult part later on when putting on the lightsaber. Once you have it on Fusion Clip, just go onto Fusion. You don't have to put it your one video on Fusion Clip. You can just go straight to Fusion. And once you're inside Fusion, uh, let me just adjust my thing over here. And then just don't forget to put your playback onto quarter resolution. So first things first, we have to track our little stick over here or your lightsaber handle or whatever you're using as a lightsaber. So we're going to shift space and then the icon will pop up and then you just type there at the bottom tracker. We're not using any planner tracker, nothing else, just tracker. Okay, and then once your tracker is in your timeline, that's good, and then you'll get this tiny box and it will show you where to put or track your thingy in the video. It will look, um, nothing will show up if your playback's on quarter resolution. I don't know if that's just for me or everyone else, but you can put it on normal resolution. Not, not normal resolution, but yeah, you know what I mean. Once you put it back to normal, you can see that it's working and then just try to find a spot on your handle or your lightsaber stick to uh, to track on. It needs to be either a different color or at least a stronger color so that you can um, track the stick throughout the entire video. It needs to be either a different color or a stronger color in order for this to work. So then we will get started with tracking. Just click on this button over there and let it begin. And once your tracking is finished, let me just not forget quickly before you do anything else, we need to see that the tracking is done and go onto this icon over here and press on the down arrow and click on make move or match move actually. So it can stick on to the what you've tracked on to the video. Okay, so once everything is done, we need to go and just shift space again and look and type in for background. So we only need the background and you can see it makes everything go dark, and, but we don't need the merge. The merge needs to be gone. Okay, and then you just add it to the tracker. It will still look dark like this, but you can see that it's moving according to your, your tracking. So that's good. That's what we want. So to get rid of the black screen on your your video over here, just click on background, scroll all the way down and go to alpha and bring it all the way down to zero, or at least all the way down. Okay, then we're gonna go shift space again and then we're gonna click on paint. Okay, so this is how we make the lightsaber. So you have your brush tools and stuff to pick whatever, um, where you want to draw on your lightsaber, on your lightsaber, whichever size, big or small, you will see the size differs when you, when you can see that circle on the mouse changes. But I'm just gonna leave my own a little bit higher than the default. Okay, so to get your lightsaber, before we start drawing anything, we don't want it on multi-stroke. So you want it to continue throughout the whole animation. Or the whole video. So when we draw our, our lightsaber, you can see it's a bit shaky. We don't want shaky or wiggly lightsabers over here. We don't want that. So we just um, backspace on that. And then we just take this one. Where we press on this instead. So it gives you like a straight line and stuff. Let me just zoom in and show you. So you press 
on one point over there, and you press a point on another part, boop, and that's it. And you just adjust it to your lightsaber and stuff, and there you go. You got yourself a lightsaber. Whoop, whoop. That was easy. And you can change the size, make it big, small, thin, whatever you want. So yeah, we got a lightsaber. But the thing is, if we try to change color, it's going to change the whole thing. So we're going to leave it on white. So we want to get that glow effect to get our different colors. So we're going to add a, another node called soft glow. Shift space, type in soft glow, and then it will appear. Okay, taking time over here. Okay, and then once you have your soft glow, and just click on it so and make sure that it's uh, attached onto the tracker okay so to get our color over here we can always adjust these little buttons over here so if you take away the green it has a purple color take away the blue and it will give you like an orange or red color you can see you can just mess around with this or you can there's different ways of doing this but i don't think everyone wants to do it this way I don't really want to change much, but I want uh, my one to be purple. It's my favorite color, even though it does look a bit pink. But if you don't really like the colors over there, we can always go to color wheel instead. And then, no, color corrector. Yeah. And then you add it in. And then you can change your color from green to cyan, blue, and whatever other color that you want. Really, the colors are endless. So yeah. So I'm not going to need a color corrector because I already like this color the way it is. So it should be fine. Intended for. And oh, yeah, that's what happens when you click on another path again. So yeah, might as well just leave it like that. Okay. I think we're done. And you can also adjust the size over here. So you can get also a smaller size or a thinner part of the size or bigger. But that's about it. That's your whole lightsaber. And I think we're good. And you can play throughout the whole video. But you can see um, it's not really going away. So we want to have that open and close. You know how the lightsabers um, light up and then light down. So we're going to put a... Well, this is a polygon tool, but we're going to go for a rectangle. So you can see it's already cutting through the lightsaber already. We're busy moving this left and right. Okay, so we're going to have to go into the settings. No, not the settings, over here on the side. So I'm just going to uh, push my timeline to where my finger is about to lift up. Okay, and then we're going to go over here to the side and then we're going to animate the lightsaber so we want to go over here on width and press on the diamond a diamond until it goes orange so yeah so we want to bring it all the way down the width let me just move this a bit to the side of the stick so you don't see the the lightsaber when it goes down then you can see we're going to close it completely okay and then we're going to move along the timeline and then, okay, there I'm pressing the button. Then I'm going to widen the width and bring it all the way out. And that's how you open and close your thingy, your lightsaber. Make it go on and off. It's a bit um, overlapping on the stick, but I don't think that should be a problem. Even if I try the polygon tool or anything to cut it open, no, cut it open, like cut it away. Yeah, no, I don't think I know how to do that. Let me know down in the comments if you know how to stop it from overlapping. I hope I'm not boring you with the tutorial and you're having fun making your very own lightsaber right at home with DaVinci Resolve. Wait, what is that? I hear you asking. Mitchell, how do I do it? Ugh. As fast as you did it, like real anime! So depending on your tracking, or you don't have to do like very fast movements until your hands go completely blurry. You can do it slow, 
and then you just speed up the video. Or, or, you could put effort and animate it. Aww. Yes, I know, it's scary. No one likes animating for hours just to get that tiny piece of video done. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please put a like on this video and share it with your friends if you really enjoyed making Star Wars come to life with DaVinci Resolve. And thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and enjoy the rest of your day. Ninja go get tough! <laughs>